Hi, I'm Bob Schmidt with Home Remodel Workshop. I take a lot of pride in my work as a cabinet installer, and last summer during the middle of the drought here in our area, I installed a kitchen. I was kind of distressed now that it's in the middle of the winter when I got a call back saying that the customer wasn't satisfied with my crown molding. I usually spend a lot of time on that to make it look just right, so I was a little confused of what was going on until I got there. I think you'll find it interesting. Let's get to work. Upon getting to my project, it was pretty obvious that what we were dealing with was what's called truss lift. The ceiling actually raised itself away from the cabinets. You can even see that the nails pulled up out of the top of my trim and stayed in the ceiling. Uh, I had to come up with a good solution to this, even though my miters all stayed good and tight because they were glued. I had to go upstairs to see what was going on. This house is a truss roof construction. And what happens is, is in the winter, the roof will actually raise, and in the summer, it'll actually lower back down, depending upon the amount of moisture between the bottom and the top rungs of the rafters. As you can see, where you can see the top plate of the wall here, the truss is raised up enough to pull the drywall, including ripping the nails out of the bottom of the truss above my cabinets, making that space above my trim which doesn't look real good. The first thing I did was take the crown mold down off the existing cabinets. Uh, it left me a real nice paint line and then behind the paint line because I didn't want to have to have the customer repaint this ceiling, I punched some holes up through the drywall so that I can spot them up in the attic after I move the insulation back. Let's go on up in the attic and I'll show you what I did. As you can see the holes were real easy to spot once the insulation was moved out of the way. I went ahead and put pencil marks where the corners of the cabinet runs were and I'm going to prep this for putting some one by up here gluing it directly to the drywall so that it will float separately from the truss roof ceiling and only stay with the drywall. I cut my blocking so that it was just a little short of the truss work. I won't anchor this blocking to the truss at all. All I'm going to do is glue it down, drop the piece of one by down, making sure it's even with the front edge of the, the trim, and then I'm going to put a couple of screws in it from the bottom to hold it in place until it dries. I'll only anchor my trim to this block. I left spacing off of all the framing members. None of my blocks touch any of that framing. They're just free floating right on top of the drywall. While my helper was up top holding the blocks down, I tacked a couple of drywall screws, again making sure I screwed behind where the new trim location will cover. And I'm going to go ahead and let this wait 24 hours before I put that trim back up. Now the same thing holds true with toe mold. When you install toe mold, you nail the nails in the toe mold down into the floor whenever possible. That way if the floor was to shrink away from the, away from the wall and the baseboard, the toe mold would always stay tight against the floor and, and pull down along with any shrinkage. The outside of this house does have e-vents and roof vents and has plenty of ventilation, but woods surround this house which holds a lot of moisture all the time. This house is also located in a lower valley that gets a lot of fog. I reapply the crown molding, only nailing it to my blocks, not the trusses and not the cabinets. So there you go. That's the solution for the problem. Now, that's only one scenario that could happen to you with truss lift. Uh, if you were, just say, had a drywall corner and there were no cabinets there, but you had a crack that continued to develop, the option of putting crown mold up around your ceiling and only anchoring it to your ceiling alone and not to your wall to allow it to go up and down as, as the seasons change is also available to you. I'm Bob Schmidt with Home Remodel Workshop. Hope you got something out of this video, and if you did, please subscribe. If not, go back to our home channel. We have many other videos there. I'm sure some of them can help you out. Thanks.